give you all just a quick background on my work with the Freedom Cafe and how it led to my professional career now and what that looks like. So I discovered the Freedom Cafe my freshman year of college through their Perform for Freedom event where people come in and share their musical talents by performing, singing, reading poetry, whatever it might be. At the time, I was visiting this Freedom Cafe with my roommate who was from Nepal. And at the time, the Freedom Cafe was raising money to build a health clinic in southern Nepal for ex-bonded slaves. And it completely hit me to my core to look to my left, see my roommate who is a beloved friend, and know that her people are being trafficked in her country. Well, things changed as I got involved with the Freedom Cafe. I got involved with fundraising and outreach and continued to deepen my understanding of what human trafficking really means and what it looks like. I changed my degree at UNH from nutrition to social work and completely dedicated my studies to human trafficking. And it was then that I started to learn more and more about how human trafficking exists right here in our backyard in New Hampshire. And I later, as I graduated, was hired by the New Hampshire Human Trafficking Task Force, as Brian described, and I now work with victims who have been trafficked right here in our backyard. It doesn't just happen in foreign countries, and it doesn't just happen to immigrants. It happens to our people, our friends, our sisters, our brothers, our children. And so I want to thank you all for being here tonight and being a part of this cause and raising money for the support of these victims. And that's all I have to say. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you so much, Teresa.